Trail Golf Course near the airport. And more tests on the way. A COVID-19 update from Texas Governor Greg Abbott. From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News at 6. We continue to follow breaking news. El Paso County is announcing 47 new COVID-19 cases in our area. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin. Local officials say the new cases do not mean there is a spike, just a lag in results from private labs. As of right now, there is a total of 587 cases in El Paso County. The number of deaths remains at nine. According to health leaders, there are currently 38 people who are in the hospital receiving treatment, 13 of whom are in the ICU. 70 people have so far recovered. Now, local officials say they're looking to make some changes to the stay at home work safe order so it can align with Governor Abbott's order to reopen Texas. But those local leaders add that El Paso needs to flatten the curve of cases first. And across the rest of the borderland, Doña Ana County confirming three new cases today, bringing its total to 76. There is still one death in the county. Ciudad Juarez now has a total of 121 cases, its death toll rising to 32 today. Target confirming there has been a second employee who has tested positive for COVID-19 at its Sunland Park store location in West El Paso. According to a spokesperson with Target, that employee is now in quarantine. As we reported last week, another employee tested positive for the virus. A Target spokesperson tells us crews deep cleaned and sanitized the store after this case as well. But an employee at that Target tells us he does not feel like the store is taking the proper precautions. Well, I'm feeling frustrated first and foremost. Uh, it really does bother me that the Target is in. I feel like they're not taking this seriously. Um, we're barely getting a lot of these um, like masks and materials to help us when they were promised months ago. Um, another thing is the lack of transparency that also frustrates me. They, they told us right away, you know, don't tell the media, don't tell people because they want to keep it hush hush. Uh, and that frustrates me as well. The Target spokesperson said they are monitoring the situation and will respond accordingly. An employee at the Juarez Maquiladora has died at an El Paso hospital from COVID-19. That's according to our reporting partners at El Paso Matters. 57-year-old Raul Rosales, a supervisor at Lear Corporation Maquiladora, died this morning. El Paso Matters reporting Rosales, who is a permanent U.S. resident, was transferred from a Juarez hospital to El Paso on April 11th. According to El Paso Matters, before his death, Rosales warned that COVID-19 numbers in Juarez are much higher than what is actually being reported, saying that as many as 20 workers at the Lear Maquiladora have died from the virus. So that